The amount of detail in this film is staggering. There's stuff that I haven't even noticed yet because it's so lush. And you're only gonna be able to see it clearly on the, on the big screen. Hi Josh. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, so congratulations on the reception that Toy Story 4 has been receiving. Oh, thank you so much. Really pleased. I'm very happy, yeah. <laughs> um, thank you for bringing back my fear of dummies also. <laughs> um, so I read that there was kind of talk that if Toy Story 4 wasn't gonna surpass what's been done before, that it wouldn't get made. So how daunting was that for you to take on as a project? Uh, yeah, it was daunting from, from day one because I had the same feeling everybody else had, which is that I thought Toy Story 3 was the end because it wrapped it up so nicely. Uh, when, when we discovered that the end of Toy Story 3 is the end of Woody's time with Andy, but not the end of Woody's story, that's when I said, okay, now I, f I can see that there's, there could be something there. And now that he's in a new room with the, with a new kid, and it's not going to be the same as as Andy's room. It can't be. So, this character that we know so well in this whole new situation was was uh, something that was interesting to me. And we we told ourselves we're not going to make this if it's not worthy of the of the title Toy Story Four. Everyone, Bonnie made a friend in class. Oh, story. she's already making friends. No, no, she literally made a new friend. I want you to meet. Forky! Uh, hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ah. <gasps> He's a sport. 24 years ago, Toy Story was like the first fully computer generated feature film. Yes. What can audiences expect to see in Toy Story 4 that perhaps wasn't possible all those years ago? Um, the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the technology has advanced in a crazy ways. Um, even I'll just take for example, the, the, we open with a rainstorm yeah. and there was, a, there was a rainy scene in Toy Story 1 but they had to fake it. They're, they couldn't do the water on the windowsill and stuff like that. So there's maybe, I think there's one shot where you see rain against the window that was kind of faked and then the rest of it's all sound effects. Oh wow. So, but now we have rain, you know, the characters are out in the rain and rain's running past them and they're interacting with it. And that's all, you, it was impossible 24 years ago. There's one thing I know, it's that a toy's job Kaboom. is never done. In terms of um, the um, crafting a film that is for adults and for children, um, how does that feel for you? Well, it, I never thought of it that way. Um, we, we always at Pixar try and make films that are for everybody. And we use our own selves as a, as a um, you know, as a guide, we just look and watch the films and go, is this something that I would want to watch? Would I want to bring my kids to see this? Uh, would I want to bring anybody in my family to see it? So that's always the goal. It's a very hard goal to achieve yeah. is to try and make a film for everyone. Um, but that's, we're never thinking of it like, oh, this is a kid's movie or this is for specifically for one person. Hey, up here, Astro Boy. If you think you can just show up and take our top prize spot, you're wrong. Dead wrong. Help me get out of here. I'll help you. With my foot to infinity and my foot. Boom! <laughs> In the vacuum of space, they cannot hear you scream! Oh, hey, oh! Hey. And there's obviously references to um, other films in this, like The Shining yeah. and Casablanca. Like, how, how relevant are they for you to kind of put those in there? Uh, Extremely. I, I love watching movies. Um, I love movies. I love all, not just animation, I love live action too. And uh, the, the Shining is a movie that is a fan of quite a few of us at Pixar. And so there are some kind of nods to that. And in Casablanca as well, so the greatest love story of all time, yeah. Casablanca, and one of the greatest movies. So uh, we're influenced by the, what we love. Who needs a kid's room when you can have all of this? Wow. Woody, aren't we going to Bonnie? And with the introduction of Gabby Gabby, um, do you think that like by this point the guys, the gang really should be wary of, <laughs> of new toys? <laughs> Just sticking there are a lot of bad stars. toys out there. Aren't there? <laughs> yeah. um, well, you know, it's it's funny. I kind of think of it like um, like our world. We, you never know who, what people are really about, you know, unless you really kind of get to know them. So uh, it's no different for the toys. I don't belong here. <laughs> So at Cineworld, obviously, we are cinema chain, so we love it when people come to the movies and really mm -hmm. enjoy seeing films on the big screen. Um, why should people see Toy Story 4 on the big screen? Uh, talking about the technology, the amount of detail in this film is staggering. There's stuff that I haven't even noticed yet because it's so lush. And 
you're only going to be able to see it clearly on the, on the big screen. We purposefully also made this movie 239, so it's extra widescreen, so that we can exaggerate the scale, so these toys really feel small in this huge world. And uh, that's just something that you're going to feel it much, much more on the large screen than you are on, on your phone. Change of plans. Jesse, Ham, Buzz, Bo, Rex, Potato Head. Ah! Hey, watch it, Where buddy. Where do we go? Let's go save a spork. One question to you personally, what do you love about going to the movies? I, probably it's like escapism, just being able to, you know, look into a window at, a, at something, a whole different world that is from somebody else's imagination that is real, you're watching it, but uh, you can just, you know, put your brain on hold for a while and just enjoy a great story. Let's kaboom. Go! Oh, yeah.